obviously you've got a Honma driver in the bag. Um, Tour World 747. I have it set up, I, 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 you know, I, ha I have it slightly on the, you know, slightly upright and slightly open side. Right. Obviously the more upright you make a driver, the more the tendency is it for it to go left. Um, so I've got it, but I don't, I hate to see a flat driver. For me, a flat driver that makes me feel like I'm going to hit it right, I'll snap hook all day long. I'm not going to just allow the club to do what I feel like it's going to do. I'm going to manipulate it one way or another. So a flat driver, I can't stand. So with this, what I love about these is you can have your shaft pured. Um, I think it's the only driver on the market that does that. So you, the shaft is in and then the head spins on the shaft. You're not spinning the shaft. So if you, you know, if you use a round grip, it's fine, but some people don't use round grip. So, um, you know, for me, I, I don't like the graphic on the grip to be always sideways or what have you. So that's the great thing about the way these are designed is that the head works around the shaft rather yeah. than the shaft working around the head like most other clubs. Uh, it's incredibly fast, picked up quite a few mile an hour ball speed with it. And I just think it's got such a clean, classic look. Uh, it doesn't really tell a story, but there's a lot of carbon fiber in here. And um, this is a little bit of a special issue here. I got them to put the mole um, up on here. You know, obviously I just think, you know, the driver I used previously always had the bug there. And um, I thought I would just try it. Um, I'm still 50-50 on whether I love it or prefer it clean. So uh, watch this space. <laughs> Yeah, so fairy woods, um, for the time being, I stuck with the tailor -mades. I just got M6s, M6 three wood and five wood there. And then I will switch out the five wood and my three iron, depending on the golf course. Generally, you know, Lynx golf, I try to put the long irons in and the five wood comes out. Um, and then I have a couple of variations, not right here, but I have a couple of variations of four irons. You know, I have the Vs here, this, the Tour World 747 Vs. So this is the three iron. Yeah. I have a version of this in the four iron. And then I have like the TW Utility 4-iron too, which um, really launches it high and soft, depending on if it's a golf course with a lot of par 5s or some long par 3s. I have an option there too. But, you know, the conditions I'm going to play in in the next few weeks, I feel like it's going to be more important to flight the ball. And I have a lot more control with my, with my blades. And, yeah, these are, you know, the, the Tour World Rose Proto, which, you know, I've had a lot of fun tinkering and tailoring the exact look to it, you know. And, um, you know, for me, a blade is a club that, one, in my opinion, needs to look good, and two, needs to feel good. You know, yes, they perform really well, and when, I, when I'm testing them, I just, all I need to know is that the spin rates are correct. Um, and, you know, they've been a very, very, very easy switch for me, but it's been fun to get them looking and, and feeling just right. Well, immediately I felt like, you know, the quality of the steel was what made a difference, what stood out to me, the sound of the, you know, sound is feel, essentially. So, you know, just how they felt very buttery through the ball, and, but, but still very solid. Um, I don't know if it's the quality of the steel, but I saw one or two mile an hour ball speed, even with, even with the irons, which, you know, with the blade, I don't know why, but maybe it's the, you know, the, the nice big muscle back that there is there too, so that, you know, they're relatively easy to hit, even for a blade. Um, but for me, it's, it's about the tweaking of the aesthetic that I think is one of the most important things with the blade. And, you know, you've got to get the offset just right, you'll get the bounce just right. But one thing I'm really big on, and I think it's because of how I release the club, I like to see a high toe, a pinched toe. It gives me the feeling of the club is upright, but it, obviously you, you don't want, you, you know, you want your lie angles to be correct. So that the fact that it feels upright, and you know, that's why I like the toe, it gives me the feeling I can be very passive through the ball with my hands. So whenever I look at a golf club, it's telling me a story of how I want to swing it. So it's very personal. Like I was telling you about the flat driver makes me feel like I'm gonna hit it right. Uh, you know, a, an upright looking iron makes me feel like I can be passive with my hands. And when I'm playing my best golf, I would say I hit my irons a little shorter because my hands are passive through the ball. When I'm not playing well, I'm a little more chasey with it and I actually hit them too far. Okay. So you know, that, that's, that's what I feel as a player. Uh, shaft, I've been in this shaft for a long time, uh, KBS Tour. Um, right now I've got the C-Taper 130Xs. Um, I've been using the, the 125S Pluses as well. So kind of this year I've just switched into these towards the back end of the year. Um, for some reason, in the summer, I just started hitting the ball a little further and, you know, picked up a bit of speed. Um, don't know why, but I just, I felt like the 130s were just, I'm just, the flex is actually very much the same. It's just the extra weight just felt a little bit better in transition. And then as I go into wedges, yeah, um, yep. you know, on my, some, just some nice kind of, my, my 47, I've always tried to use a, a wedge style 47, you know, because I feel like it's a, it's a, it's a better looking club to chip with. Um, again, just a, a Rose Proto and the same in the, the 52. And then a couple of Vokies for now. Um, so it's always good. You know, it's nice to challenge Honma as well to come up with wedges that, you know, for me, you know, Vokie have been fantastic, but 
think we've got some good stuff cooking and uh, the guys have really made me some, some great looking wedges. And sometimes for me, it's just time to actually go to work, to test them, to have, you know, to have, to carve, you know, to, to really test clubs properly, you know, it does take time. Yeah, it's measuring. I think I do use TrackMan a lot. I want to see confirmation of what I, my, what my eyes are seeing, but um, I, uh, spin rates is the most important thing. And, you know, with wedges, it's the bounce. And I think if you do have anything custom with a wedge, it's very hard to replicate it. So I keep challenging them to sort of make one perfect that I don't have to then take it to the grinding wheel and, and get some special, you know, some special work done to it. Yeah. Um, because I might want to use a wedge a month. And if you've got to keep finding someone to grind it just perfectly, that's, that's actually a hassle. <laughs> so um, yeah, we're, we're working very hard on the wedges. I'll just fly to the putter really quickly because it, it worked well for me this year. I, I used the Axis one, which was, you know, it's, it's a very different looking putter, very funky. As you can see, it's got like a kind of a wicked neck on it. But the reason is, is that basically the, uh, the shaft intersects right through the sweet spot here. So it's perfectly balanced. Um, and yeah, it's just, I think just, makes my stroke feel much more smooth and uh you know that's performed really well i've putted putted it great this year but a uh, driver i have a 300 number carry um and that's always sort of 70 degrees no wind that that that's the number for that three woods pretty hot hit this one you know 275 in the air five woods about 250 in the air uh we, we're in the we're in the 235s with the three iron the 220s with the four iron the 210s with the five the 195s with the six uh, 181, 182 with a 7, um, high 160s, 170 with the 8, um, where are we with the 9? Nine? 9's about 153, uh, wedge is 140 really, so I kind of feel like there's a 2 or 3 yard comfort zone there. If I, if I make a decent swing, I'm always going to land it within, within 2 or 3 yards, shot after shot after shot, you know, so let's say with the 7 iron, it's going to be between 179 and 183, yeah. just you know, pretty much all the time. I'm very comfortable with the move. I think the irons have just been perfect. The driver's been surprisingly great because that was the one area, you know, you, you move from TaylorMade, you think the driver, they're known for their drivers. Driver's been probably the most exciting club for me. Um, and, you know, like picked up three or four mile an hour ball speed very, very quickly with it. That was cool. I wasn't expecting that. Um, I knew that the irons would be great. They didn't have a driver at the time that I could really test and I knew what was coming and the technology they had in the pipeline. So from that point of view, like I said, you know, I put a lot of trust in it. Yeah. Um, for me, I've really bought into the, the Jap, you know, the master craftsmen in Sakata, the guys that are there making clubs by hand. You know, it's a company with 60 years of rich club making history. Um, because in you know the UK and, and the US they're not as well known. People think it's a it's a new company and some startup from you know from Asia. But it's you know it's a it's a huge brand over there and, and dominates in in many categories. So I had a lot of trust in it. And uh, but I'm disappointed the way I've played this year. And that's kind of me. You know I haven't just through the way life has been in some ways and and certain you know extenuating circumstances here and there. I haven't sort of been able to find those three or four weeks where I've had these training camps with my team. And I think it caught up with me a little bit towards the end of the year and scheduling I didn't quite get right this year. So I'm, I'm looking forward to a really good off season and some, you know, um, yeah, just some good hard work and then come out and have a really great year next year. No, they do. I, I've seen some graphics of the new line and um, I think that, you know, the, the, the new line of drivers is again going to push the envelope even more. Um, I think what Homer have done for me, there's a lot of technology that's hidden in their clubs because they, they, they want it to look very classic. Um, but I'm excited about what's coming. And I think for, for you guys, for the, for the general consumer, there's some really, really cool stuff coming. Stuff that's very easy to hit, not necessarily blades. And you know, it, it's stuff for the whole market. And uh, yeah, I think everyone have a good time trying it. I just hope, you know, I think on demo days, I've been hearing that it's performing really, really well. I think people just got to kind of get behind the brand, you know, because it's new.